Hi folks, it's John from Last Chance I'll Restore. We're standing beside the uh, 65 Coupe, which is a Factory 5 racing. In the uh, previous video, if you recall or have been following the, um, the steps of this car, we were in the paint booth and they had just applied the blue pearl base um, and they were ready to do the masking for the white stripes and then the clear coat. So obviously the striping and the clear coat is now done. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pause here and we have a little slideshow to share with you how they did the masking for the back, for the wing and the stripes on the roof and then also the number on the back. And then once you see those um, few pictures, then we'll come back and we'll take a look. Okay, so now we're back with this uh, Factory 565 Coupe. Um, I apologize for the lighting is not very good in this location. We have the car in a hoist right now with the wheels off because not only is it here for body paint and fit, um, but we also have to uh, figure out why it wasn't starting properly. So we've changed a little bit of the, uh, of the wiring and then uh, we've got a concern with um, uh, bleeding the brakes. So we have it on the hoist, the wheels off, ready to breed the brakes, and I think it's a, it's a good opportunity uh, just to show what the paint looks like now. So in the slideshow of the pictures, you saw where they had masked everything off for the white. Uh, they applied the white on top of this uh, custom blue paint that we made, and then they removed all of the masking, wiped the car back down again, uh, then they had to mask for the back number, the black number 26, it's also painted on. Uh, then they removed the masking for that, then wiped the whole car down, remasked it fresh, and then they've applied uh, three coats of a high gloss uh, premium clear coat, and you can really see the pearl uh, in the paint. It's almost color changing, but it's a, quite a rich looking color, um, which we'll do a close up here in a moment. And then um, what they're going to, or what they did is after they had three coats, they did a little bit of wet sanding, then they applied uh, two more coats of clear. And this is out of the gun after the last two coats of clear. So we haven't done any wet sanding or polishing yet. So when they go to do the final wet sanding and polishing, when you run your hand across, you're definitely not going to feel uh, any of the lines, not even the numbers, the black number 26. Um, after they do the final polishing. So you have three coats of clear um, and then once they wet sand it uh, and wipe it all down, you lose about a half a coat of clear. And then when they add two more coats of clear, that just uh, gives it more protection, gives it a little more shine and depth. And then after they do the wet sanding and polishing final, uh, like I mentioned, you won't feel any lines whatsoever and there's lots of clear left for polishing later on. So you can see the back, and I think it's going to kind of be distorted a little bit, I think, but um, when it gets, the weather's terrible here. We're in Ontario, Canada, and uh, it's really windy and snowy right now, so I apologize if it doesn't really show up that well, um, but this is, a, as we mentioned in the earlier video, um, we have our own paint system here, so we basically uh, added some pearl and some metallic and uh, it's a unique color once again. So um, there was another factory five car we did with its own recipe. It's a different kind of blue. Uh, and then this one once again um, is quite unique. So it's, it's not your, your typical blue, but your brain is expecting these to be blue and white. So it's a Wimbledon white stripe. And we mentioned in the earlier video what we did with the paint. Um, if the camera person can come over to the side a little bit, um, we've also have the doors done. Um, so we'll probably pause right here uh, because you can see once again we've got the blue doors done. 
Uh, we've got the white number, or sorry, the white dot and the black number, same deal, it's all painted on. So I think what we'll do here is we'll just cut away once again, quick little slideshow just to show you how they got from the regular door to where we are now, and then we'll cut right back again. So it's just a Okay, so now we're back. So in the, in the photos that you looked at very quickly or briefly, um, you saw that they had, they, done, they uh, completed all the body work on it. They did fine sanding all the way up to 600 grit paper. Uh, then they applied a gray uh, sealer. And the gray that they picked, it's almost like a graphite gray. And we do that uh, to tint the sealer. Uh, so it, it seals all the product on the car but then it also has pores that stay open and ready for the blue. And then when they apply the pearl blue paint or the metallic blue paint onto that, it helps with the depth of the metallic and of the blue. And when we added pearls to it, there's about nine different ingredients that makes this actual paint code. And with all of those together um, and the gray underneath, it just helps give it uh, a little bit unique or a little bit different look with the pearl. And then once they have the blue done, you'll notice in the, in the little slideshow, uh, they masked it for the white, then they masked for the number, and then once again, same as the body, then they applied uh, three coats of clear, and then same idea, they wet sand it, um, and then they add two more coats of clear. So this is the same as the car. It hasn't had its final wet sanding or polishing yet. Uh, and then when it does, obviously, um, like right now, I don't feel anything, and when they're done polishing, you definitely won't feel anything. Um, it's all going to be nice and smooth. So once again, if I do this with the light, I apologize if it doesn't work and just gives you a nasty reflection. What we'll try to do is, we've got to be away. Hopefully one of these days it'll be sunny, um, and we'll get some nicer lighting, but uh, it turned out quite nice. It's, uh, it's pretty sharp, and then um, with all the hardware, when they went to dry fit everything, they had... Uh, given um, all of the uh, the metal work to me and we, we media blasted it all or sand blasted it and then we powder coated all of the internal items instead of just using a spray bomb so we've got it all powder coated black we did the same thing with the frame we had to modify the window frame uh, so we after it was all modified and trimmed and filed um, we sand blasted it and I've also powder coated that which we'll share uh, later on so um, quite a bit of progress on it so next, what we have, um, you can see we've got some masking to it if the camera person comes around this other side, it's a little bit confined. Um, so you'll notice we've got masking tape along here. We have our bumpers installed uh, and we've got our pins installed because um, what they did is some dry fitting once again um, with the hood. So we've had the hood or front nose on and off this car roughly six times uh, to make sure the fit is correct. They do minor adjustments, they do some more sanding on the edging, and then just before it goes to paint, um, we fit it one more time, clamp everything down, make sure that the alignment is correct and the gaps are right. And then, uh, so that's the stage it's at now. So uh, they've been working on the hood. So the next video is what we'll do is we'll share with you uh, the hood and all of the work that we've done uh, with that. So just before we cut away and end this video, if the camera person comes to this uh, back part of the hinge, you can see what I was mentioning um, earlier. So you can see the, the hinge or the mounting point, that big bracket with the hardware coming out, that's all powder coated. So that's a satin black powder after we sandblasted it. 
Um, we put new bushings in, pin and bushings in, and then made sure we grease the bushing so the doors uh, open and close properly. And then if she comes down, camera person comes this way and shows you down the side, you can see how nice the door lines up with the quarter panel. If she comes up and down kind of thing, just to show you. So we've got a lot of work. There's extensive work that happens to get it to that finish where you have the cowl and the door lined up perfectly. The gaps are really nice and clean. And then if she comes around the other side of the pole to show you where the door and the quarter panel meets, um, you can see the gap there is nice. When they sand the edges, they make sure that they sand um, it rounded as opposed to a sharp edge. So it's tapered so there's no sharp edges and the lines are really, really nice. And the gaps along the bottom are just about perfect. So um, sets up really, really well, but that's several hours with the latch hinges to make sure that we adjust everything properly. So uh, lots of progress on this car. This is the Factory 5 Racing 65 Coupe. I thank you for watching. I'm John from Last Chance Auto Store.